<laughs> patterns. It's all about patterns, real or imagined. The brain is probably the greatest pattern-recognizing engine in the universe, and we are wired to see the patterns. When we see the patterns towards reality, we make progress. But when we see patterns that aren't there, that are false, science goes in the totally wrong direction. The history of human imagination is filled with finding crazy, insane, wrong patterns. So here we go. <laughs> it's 1500, and we have seen patterns in our hands. <coughs> pattern after pattern after pattern. We see astrology in the hands to relate our bodies to the patterns of stars in the sky. We see patterns in the face, and we say how you look must determine who you are. Your personality, called physiognomy, is related in the patterns of your face. Patterns, patterns, patterns. I'm pretty sure who this person is. A very angry type of person there. Okay. More patterns. This became such a belief that the patterns of how you looked were so important that entire small books were published filled with pictures of the kinds of people you might meet so you could decipher their patterns. I'm giving this to Richard. He needs this. <laughs> the patterns go further. As science became better at measuring, we started to do patterns that were scientifically measured. We began to measure things and note the measurements. We began to say, oh, the forehead ratio, a new pattern, must be something new. And entire books filled with patterns, filled with patterns, became part of the history of human imagination. This is one of the great books of imagination. This happens to be Napoleon's copy, his personal copy, okay? What's nice is you can see his pattern right on the cover here. Okay, this is the emperor's copy of a book by Lebrun. Lebrun was a great scientist in the French tradition, and that's a very positive statement, and it really is. And this is Lebrun's work, okay? Lebrun was looking for patterns, and he presented the emperor with his work, and he said, I have figured out why people are the way they are. <laughs> All right, what you need to do is you need to look here. You have the bird people, and they clearly are like birds. Okay. And then LeBron said, but don't take my word for it. Here are your cow people, <laughs> and beautiful sketches. And when you zoom in here, and we will for just a minute, you can see the care and lovingness of these engravings. All right. These are not speculation. This is an attempt to realize the imagination that animals, the subject of our session today, okay, must be revealing in their patterns. The camel people. <laughs> those horse people in the audience. You've been justified here, okay? Here we are, the goat folks, okay? I want to meet this guy. I'm not quite sure what country he's from. Okay, and of course, you know, you're looking for Richard here. I couldn't decide if it was the lion pattern for you, Richard, or as many people describe you, the bear pattern. <laughs> so, of course, we look at this today, knowing the theory of evolution, knowing science and genetics, and we realize this is not exactly accurate. But for human history, the idea of seeing what was on the outside as a way to figure out what was on the inside is innately part of our imagination. Thank you.